Hi everybody, welcome to another Chelsea update, my weekly look at Chelsea Football Club. This week has been very busy for both the men's and the women's team, so please join me for the Chelsea update. Hi everybody, my name is Steve Hadlow, just a Chelsea fan for a Far too many years. Um, so well, we've been a busy, busy week. Um, where do we start? Let's start last Saturday, shall we? We played Nottingham Forest in the um, FA Cup, and we managed to win two 0 against. Um, they didn't. They weren't too threatening, were they? Really, to be quite honest. Um, we managed to get two goals um, from Morata, uh, nicely laid on by Hudson Odoi, who seems to be the subject of the week, both on social media and uh, on the pitch. Um, he played really well, and uh, unfortunately, Morata he got the goal down at the Matthew Harding end, and um, he didn't seem too happy, did he? I mean, he got took off about the 80th minute, I think, or something around that sort of time, and uh, he ran straight down the tunnel. He got noticed by the radio commentators. Um, I don't know what's, what his problem is. Like, you know, like, he's acting like a bit like a girl's blouse. They call it a girl's blouse or whatever. I'm not that's a sexist remark, I suppose, but. I wish he just would just get, grow up, you know. Um, so the time moves on, he gets well paid for his job, and he's supposed to share his glory with the fans, not you know run around miserable. If he wants to leave, we'll, we'll find him a club. But we need to find someone first while we wait for this Mick Higuain to arrive. He, he seems the favourite of all the gossip at the moment. Um, overall, sorry was able to change a few pl- a few people in the team and. Um, yeah, we got the result. We're through to the next round of the cup. Um, the following day, the ladies played at home. This 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 crowd, this thing was a free freebie for everybody, as I mentioned last week against Everton. And they managed, and they managed to win three um, 0 I'm not going to go into the scorers and everything. It's it's just something, you know. Um, I got a thing about the men's the women's game. I really I follow them. I follow both the, the teams. Don't get me wrong. And um, but sometimes when I see some of these ex play ex women players turn up on BBC whatever or BT Sport, and they start discussing the, the football, I, they can. Uh, Karen Carney came in once. She discussed uh, the Chelsea Europa, Europa League game caught really well on too. But when you get someone like um, Alex Scott, and she, she becomes like an all round expert on football focus, and uh, I'm no disrespect to her. When he gets she gets he, she introduces like somebody's won the FA Cup. It's not quite the same thing. But that game for Chelsea, you know, compared to the men, it's not. It's not. I know they play. The, it's the same game of football, but it's not quite the same sort of level. And it's, it's, it's they're, they're experts that describe in the women's game. Don't get me wrong. And they're experts, you know, they know the ins and outs of the women's game. But to actually come on and think they know the ins and outs of how a club runs at a professional level, it's not quite right. I don't think. I'm sorry. Um, at that game, Chilt had it was a freebie game. They had about three thousand uh, over crowd, three thousand two hundred twenty-one with the actual crowd attendance. But that's their, you know, for a freebie, was quite good. Um, they also played on Wednesday night in this Continental Cup game, and they managed to win four 0 Frank Kirby got a couple of goals. The attendance for that one nine hundred and seventy-three. It was a cold night. Um, on the same night, the um, the um, development squad were playing at Stamford Bridge. They played in that Czech Trade Trophy. They lost three one. They, they led up part one at half time, but they, their crowd was nearly two thousand six hundred and seventy one. That's what the crowd attendance was compared to what the girls got nine hundred and seventy three. So even the development team are getting better crowds than the women at the moment. You know. Um, so let's move on to the men, shall we? On Wednesday night. So on Wednesday night they played at Wembley against in this Caribou Cup and. Conti was uh, sorry. Sorry, was happy with the actual performance. We got a one 0 defeat. It it was disputed on VAR and everything else. Um, but then again, if the goalkeeper hadn't brought down Kane, it may not have been a penalty. We never know. But he, he was they, according to Chelsea's version of VAR, he was offside, and a joke's been made of that as well. But again, it's we just move on to the second leg, and hopefully Chelsea can raise the raise their game and hopefully we have perhaps have a, a, a send of four. I, I'm still not a great fan of having um, Hazard as a false number nine. And we need Morata in there or we need Giroud in there to give him some sort of target. Um, 
And also, it, helped, it has an Adoy playing again on Wednesday night, and he had a good game, and his strength on, from the Saturday game was crossing the ball. Unfortunately, he had nobody to cross the ball to. Um, no centre forward in that with any aerial threat at all. So, one of his strengths, if you like, wasn't used. We know he's, one of his strengths is getting the ball, an old-fashioned winger, getting the ball into the penalty area. That's why Murata managed to get a couple of goals against Forrest. Meanwhile, I just, um, so Chelsea got another second leg, a second bite of the cherry, really, to, to, to do that. And, um, you know, we, we keep our fingers crossed. But even then, we're going to have to face Man City in the final. They had an easy 9 0 win over Burton, and they still got to play the second leg yet. Um, they're, they're the favourites, and we're going to have to raise our game even the, another level if we're going to have to, if we do get to the final against City. So come on, Chelsea, let's see what we can do. So tomorrow, boom, boom, we play at Newcastle. It's on BT Sports. So it's a it's a tea time or five thirty kickoff. And um, Sari said at the press conference that they're they're a better side away from home than they are. You know, you know as he said, they're the better side away from home. So he expects another tough game. Um, <laughs> Rafa will do his usual thing, probably to, to stop us scoring. Um, we we never know. We could we could get a good result there. Let's hope they can do the do the business again. He says Morass is now training, so he could be back tomorrow. Or Giroud could play. I would just like to see him put a centre forward in there against their centre halves to give us some sort of aerial threat. All right. Meanwhile, for a bit more of the Chelsea update, go to bit.ly/chelsea-update for the YouTube channel with related videos about Chelsea Football Club, and of course the website and blog at bit.ly/cfc-update. So the gossip-wise, if you probably if you follow my Twitter stream as at Chelsea Update SH, um, it's now on the iTunes. As I said, this podcast always ends up on the I, on the iTunes as well. I've got to mention that last time. But you, you'll notice the talk at the moment is either Hudson or Doy going to Bayern Munich. He's at, the, at the press conference today, sorry, said it's unprofessional them talking about him. Um, we're also this Higuain thing, the calling the agent came over during the week. You, again, if you want to follow all this sort of gossip, go to my Twitter stream, please. Not many people do, I know, but if you check it out, you'll see what's been going off. Werner Bash perhaps interested in Victor Moses for a loan. This Higuain thing is not going to be a permanent thing. They they just want a loan until the end of the season. But he's 31. Um, what a couple of our youth players came back. I mean, we, poor old Fab, Fabregas last week was just, it was a big goodbye with all the waving to the crowd and he got a great reception from the Chelsea fans. They always do that with their players, and um, so we need a, a replacement if he goes to Monaco. There it seems to be all agreed. The only thing is he won't get released until we find his replacement. Lewis Baker, one of our midfield players, has been out on loan to Leeds. He came back. Oh, this could be hope here. I, mean, I know Lewis Baker's is not in the same class as Seth. Don't get me wrong, but you've got to give these guys. He's 23 now, Lewis Baker. And what did they do? They put him back from Leeds. He only did about 14 games appearances, and they shipped him straight out to Bristol City. I mean, the kid has to be thinking now. What have I got a few? He's paid, signed his contract. Has he got a future at Chelsea? It doesn't look like it, does it? If, if the, these managers we get in all the time aren't prepared to give them a, get them involved in the, in the squad, let alone get them involved in the matches. And, um, yeah, so that's it. And the girls have also, tomorrow, they, they plan a big game at half past 12 tomorrow, away to Arsenal. Now, as I said before, Arsenal looks to be the favourites to win the league this season in the FA WSL. And um, so it'll be a big test. I know the girls have knocked in seven goals in the last two games, but this will be their big test. After all, will that be a good result? I don't know, really. Um, let's see what they can if we can turn they can turn on the style. Can I just say on the again coming back to this girls business, I'll just let you give you an idea of something. For the Wednesday night game, when the team news was announced, twenty nine people actually ret- retweeted, if you like, the actual team news or whatever. For the result, one hundred people retweeted. Okay, now for the men who played the night before, team news three thousand and forty two retweeted the team news, and results seven hundred and fifty seven. So there's a massive gap between the men's league and the men's football and women's football and the interest as well crowd as I said the crowd wise was 973 on Wednesday night which was a low crowd I know but they, they were happy with that um, so let's get behind both teams I'm not against it I just want to get things into perspective for both the teams and um, hope they've, hopefully they can give us something to be to cheer about at the end of the season so that's it from me from Chelsea Update thanks for watching 
stop watching, listening, sorry. Uh, I've done it on a slightly different day, and I hope to get back to normal service next week, where we play Arsenal next week. That's the biggie one. So until then, thanks for watching, uh, listening. I keep saying watching. I'm going crazy, people. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.